Love that weather today, but we've got some big changes coming our way. Yeah, we've already seen some minor changes. The clouds are moving in, all and right. that's out ahead of the rain, which is all the same system, but it's coming. Mm. It's going to bring some, some rain, maybe a few thunderstorms, and some very cold air. But right now, it's still pretty nice on campus, 67 degrees, and you can see the clouds continuing to push in from the west. We got more numbers in the 60s after we topped out today in the low 70s, above normal once again. But come this weekend, we're talking below normal numbers. You'll see those coming up in just a bit. So the eastern side of the state still seeing some sunshine or at least some clear skies. But as you head further west, thicker cloud cover, even some rain moving in over Lake Michigan. Now for us, I think the rain holds off until tomorrow. But yeah, the morning hours, some rain is expected even more into the, the afternoon and the evening as well. Now on the back side of this system, there is some snow falling, right? Some colder temperatures behind the cold front. By the time this all gets here, this air mass is going to moderate some. So we're not going to see the, the 30s that they're seeing out that way. We're talking 50s, maybe upper 40s as well. But yeah, the cold air is on its way. You'll see future track increasing the cloud cover overnight tonight, but it looks like the rain holds off. Even your morning commute tomorrow should be okay for at least some of us. It, chances uh, for rain are going to be higher as you head further west, especially later in the morning. But come noontime, showers moving through. I'm not going to rule out a rumble of thunder out there. But it's really along the front that comes in during the evening that we see the best chance for the strongest winds and maybe a couple of thunderstorms. That being said, along this front, the severe threat does look minimal. I think the biggest concern is those strong winds. And yeah, high school football very much impacted once again by this system. All this rain shifts off to the east overnight. By daybreak Saturday, we're already drying out and already seeing some sunshine, but it's going to be cold. It's going to be windy. Not exactly the best day to be outside, but it looks like we should dry things out. For Friday evening high school football, not only is it going to be cold and windy and rainy, but there may be a rumble of thunder out there as well. We'll have to keep a close eye on that because that, of course, would delay games. The severe threat, like I mentioned, not very high, but some lightning and some thunder is all it takes for those games to be up. Uh, uh, postponed or even canceled. We'll see temperatures go from the 60s to the 50s and yeah, the winds very high as well. As for tonight, uh, just a few clouds on the increase. Temperatures on the mild side. How about this? Mid 50s for lows. That's where the highs will be a lot of next week. You'll see those numbers coming up. Upper 60s tomorrow. That's before the front actually gets here. Some spots may only make it into the middle 60s. Showers are expected. Some of that rain late morning and some more as we head into the evening hours and there could be a few thunderstorms there as well. So an active Friday, that's for sure. Upper 40s for highs on Saturday, maybe a pre dawn shower, but that's about it. We'll see some more sunshine during the afternoon on Saturday, but still a cold and windy day. A few stray showers on Sunday, a slight chance Monday, but a better shot for rain returns Tuesday into Wednesday morning of next week and next week all 50s. We've been talking about that for a while. Yeah. We're, we're ready for it by now. We're but prepared. <laughs> I hope so. It's gonna be cold. It'll still come as a little bit of a shock, right? All right, Brett, thank you.